Sanji or Confessions of a Book Addict, and I received July's Link Joy Crate. So the theme for this month was Sleight of the Hand. So here's a little booklet, and my little assistant here, Colin, is going to go through the booklet so I don't get spoiled. So right on top, they have, for August theme, is Wonder Woman. So I actually, I had skipped July through September and then I restarted it because I wanted the Wonder Woman themed box. Because that was a really good movie. Okay. All right. So as I look through the box, there's not that much of this stuff. So I've already seen everything that's in the box. But that's all right because the book looks really good. But right on top was Coloring New York Jack. And it looks like it's from Walter Forster Company. And it says, featuring the artwork of celebrated illustrator Tomislav Tomic. And inside, that's really cool. And there's other titles in the series. And it's a big cities and stuff. So it looks like we have also. Ooh, from Wicked Fable. I have heard of them. This says, Esta Coconut Oil Orange Blossom Perfume Oil. Let us see how this smells. I love perfume. Anything. Look at that. It's like infused with flowers. Does it say Orange Blossom before oranges. Ooh, that's yeah. nice. I don't. I'm going to put it on right now. Orange Blossom. Next, we have Jane Austen playing cards. So those look really cute. It says favorite characters and quotes. You want to read a little bit about them? What, what is a magician without his deck of cards? A thief without his light of pants? This Jane Austen playing cards are not to your love of, lit, of literature? literature and your perfect leave it to play a trick or two. These are really nice. Now believe it or not, I have not read, oh, wow. see it has little co quotes on it. I have never read a Jane Austen novel. So give me some hints in the comments. What would be the best Jane Austen novel to start with? Because I have um, her complete works all in one bind up and everything. I've heard Pride and Prejudice is really good. I'm going to show you guys the book because in Lichjoy what they do is everything revolves around the book that they have. So it's okay if you see the book first. And I, actually I really wanted this book. It's The Last Magician from Lisa Maxwell. It says, Stop the Magician, Steal the Book, Save the Future. In modern day New York, magic is all but extinct. The remaining few who have an affinity for magic, the Magius, live in the shadows hiding who they are. Esta is a talented thief, and she's been raised to steal magical artifacts from the sinister order that created the Brink. With her innate ability to manipulate time, Esta can pilfer from the past. All of Esta's training has been for one final job, traveling back to 1902 to steal an ancient book containing secrets of the order and the Brink before the magician can destroy it and doom the Magius to a hopeless future. Is that a map? I love books with maps. That means you're going somewhere. You're going somewhere special. Hmm? Just take it. So there's also a bookmark, which is going to come in very handy because it says stop the magician, steal the book, save the future. And then it has the author's information and the cool on the back. And on the back, it's really cool. There is a book locket necklace. There are stories passed down through time of a book that holds the secrets of the old magic. Mm, the Oz. So this is supposed to be the Ars Arcana. The book is one of the most magical artifacts in history that's rumored to be as old as magic itself. It's been lost to time until now. So now we have it in the form of a locket. <laughs> Alright, so next says, Hey nerds, we're excited for our annual summer photo challenge. Last year we did photos in Pantone. 
So now they're challenging you to incorporate the Drop Caps postcard from Chronicle Books, which is this, in a photo of your choice using the hashtag Drop Cap, like it's oh, there's an art print in here of Inej from Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom from Lee Bardugo. And next month for the Wonder Woman box, um, Lee Bardugo is going to curate their box. Since in there, they're including a copy of her Wonder Woman novel, which I thought was a graphic novel, but I have a copy of it I got from BEA, and it is a fiction book. So as always, at the bottom, there is a letter from the author, which is always nice, and a book plate to put in the book. Alright, so that was really cool. That, um, so we got the book, the coloring book, the perfume, the necklace, the cards, the postcards, the Inej print, the letter from the author, and a bookmark. So you actually, you get a lot. You get a lot in the Lit Joy crates. Um, it's definitely worth the money, I think. And I like that, and I like Out Crate the best. And I've tried a different, I've tried a lot of different ones, and I'll try them for a couple of months at a time. But this one in Alcrate I've stuck with from the minute I got it. You know, like I said, I tried to take a break and I'm like, I don't want to because I like it so much. Just the fact that they have Lee Bardugo, just the fact that they have Lee Bardugo curating a whole box in August is amazing to me. And I really wanted The Last Magician, so I've been very lucky. In Alcrate we got um, a book I really wanted that I had the arc of and was already planning on reading. But now I have one with an exclusive cover. In Lit Joy, now we got The Last Magician. You know, I love my fantasy books. Alright, well, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Please subscribe, like, comment. I would love to hear again what your favorite Jane Austen books are. And keep reading.